the Halloween special, proudly sponsored by Haunted Real Estate, the share house specialists. My next guest is not only a talented TV and radio presenter, he's hosted programs such as the Australian chat show Up Late, Eclipse Music TV and the Supercoach show on Fox Footy. He's also been the face of Expedia Travel and most recently the host of Channel 7's The Mole Australia. Let's take a look. Guess who's back? Back again. Sure is back. With a friend. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Sure is back. Has a cat. Guess who's back? Why not clap? Sure is back. Please welcome the very talented Mr. Sure Crowd. Yeah, I know. They're a very attractive They're very crowd. Sexy. And it's oh, Halloween. It is I've Halloween. I dressed up for you. You did? Yeah. Did you dress? Who did you Set your faces to shock. Okay. I dressed as an unemployed TV host. Oh, <laughs> no. Sure. What do you reckon? Good? Yeah. I know. He's, you've done, you're a classy unemployed TV Thank you very host, much. Yeah, I know. <laughs> now, that footage that we just saw there, yes. that was from your first ever... TV appearance. That's right, yeah. I did a show called Kids WB for uh, Channel 9 for five years, and it was the best fun I've ever had, I must say. Like, the mole and all this were great, but doing kids TV, there's nothing like it. Got to do things like that, be idiots on TV, and, uh, you know, had some great times. That was up at, at, at Movie World. We used to shoot at Movie World, so... Yeah. Everybody loves to be an idiot on TV. I'm looking forward to doing it at some stage You'll get a well. chance. Yeah. You'll get a chance. You're yeah. in your stripes, so, Yeah, uh... yeah. thank you. <laughs> now, the mole... I mean, we've got footage of the mole here. That must have been fun, travelling around, you know, I mean... No, you... it sucked. <laughs> what, <laughs> what, 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 done. what are some of the What are you trying to bring stories? up bad memories for? <laughs> no, it was great. It was actually awesome. Um, had, a, had an absolute blast. Travelled all up and down the east coast of Australia and... Um, yes get to play the puppet master to these poor people who, who went on television to earn, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars and most of them went home empty-handed, unfortunately. Pulling, pulling the strings. I was pulling the strings. That was it. Like, the unfortunate thing was as the host, you don't get to do the challenges. Yeah. So if anyone who watched the show, and um, probably not many around here because <laughs> it, it got moved a little bit later, unfortunately, for uh, the ratings. But, no, um, we did some big challenges. We were in the, we were in the Blue Mountains. We did some uh, high wires. We did pl aeronautical planes and um, scuba diving with sharks. There were also some mental challenges as well. We really tested these people. They weren't allowed to, They didn't have their mobile phones. They weren't allowed to they talk to their, uh, their families once a week. They stayed in separate hotels from, like, all of us and the crew. So. Well, speaking of challenges, you mm. were backstage before. I'm going to give you one now because you were doing a party trick yeah. with a tea towel, yeah. I believe. It's called uh, drying after washing <laughs> the dishes. And, uh, <laughs> Detail out oh, right. here, so we've yeah, got yeah, some yeah. dishes. No. This is, um, Tell us where you... Well, this is, this is an old one, and it, uh, people out there might know this one. I love this trick. I learned this when I was a kid, but basically, um, you, you meant to tell a story about this when you're doing it, but I won't because bore you with it because it takes too long. <laughs> it's about how your, your prized chicken, you want to look after your chicken, you take it to your friend's house and say, can you like, look after my chicken for me? You go away for a few days, you come back, and he's like, you're like, where's my chicken? He goes, oh, look, I'll, I don't know where it is. I've got to look after it. You go, is it in your living room? No, no, there's no chicken there. Should we have a look out the back? There's no chicken there. What about in the kitchen? Should we see if you've got the, the chicken in the kitchen? There's oh, the chicken. <laughs> there's the chicken. There it is. That's like, that's like tea well, towel. Tea towel origami. For you. Oh, thank Present you. for you. It's, it's, tea, it's tea towel origami. Tea towel origami. It's a real skill. Now, um, um, you can also find uh, Shura on Twitter for more uh, tricks me. like that. You can, we've got his Twitter that we can pop up Stalk on the screen me. there. At Shura Taft. I'm very inappropriate. Yeah, you are. I like to be. You're reasonably... So be inappropriate back to me <laughs> and I'll, we'll share inappropriateness. It's, uh, it's very now, fun. Now, talking about inappropriateness, um, well, <laughs> I, I think we are. <laughs> now, I don't think it's uh, that inappropriate, but you, you commit and you go the extra mile with, uh, you were working with a charity recently, you went on hunger strike, I understand. You're looking at me like you don't know what I'm talking about. I don't. Oh, let's have a look at the footage. Have we got the footage there? <laughs> 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 you guys need to start donating. This is serious stuff. Yeah. Look where he's at. Yeah. Yeah. Now, <laughs> what's the point? Well, let me tell you, okay. Adidas has to make a really what tasty tracksuit pants. Okay, I understand. Um, right. Don't be fooled by the competitors. Nike are no good. But no, um, that was for TLC for Kids. We made it. Right. That was Christy Whelan Brown, very talented singer. She's doing a lot of musicals around Melbourne. She's actually on Wonderland as well on Channel 10. Okay. And um, they asked us to make some viral videos to lead up to TLC for Kids do that thing called Tracky Date Day, which is a bit like Red Nose Day, but they're, they're 
their, their thing. And um, so, yeah, we had a bit of fun. And um, I didn't eat for, a, uh, it was about 10 minutes, which is right, yeah, well, big for me, to be honest with you. If you actually go online, there's another clip straight after that one where they're hoeing into a bag of crisps. Which it, actually was, it actually was a, it was a bag of muesli at the guy's house who filmed it. And after we ate it, he walked in the room and goes, are you in the museum? Okay. He goes, mate, that's been in the club for three years. I wouldn't eat that. We were like, wah! Oh, and they actually got you spitting it out as well. Yeah, that's a real used, spit. They've used oh, it. Oh, no, I look like a good actor, but that was a real spit. That was a real yeah. spit out of muesli. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, you, you sold it well as Thank chips. Thank you very much. Like, I, I, next year. I strongly believe that was chips. Now, how did you first get involved? <laughs> <Does he> strongly <laughs> believe. <laughs> he's strong. You his constitution. I know. You they before. weren't chips, no. but thanks for noticing. All right, that's all right. <laughs> Pleasure. Uh, I can, you know, yeah. we're, we're right here. We're on the level. So, um, how did you first get involved in TLC for Kids? Um, well, it, I guess doing a kids show, you want to find a charity that's linked to that, and obviously it was going to be something to do with kids. And, and the girl I was working with originally, Georgia, just he, she knew about them. They're quite a small charity, and I met with the guys who who started it, Tim and Anna. Who, by the way, Tim just won Australian of the Year, which is an amazing effort for a guy who. This is Tim Campbell, Tim, right? No, Tim Canolan. Tim Canolan. Yeah, he's, right. the, he's the guy who started TLC for Kids. Okay. He just won Australian of the Year, and um, the most passionate person I've ever met as far as um, putting in for the kids. He's there with the kids in the hospital. This charity is fantastic. And I went, uh, I, I want to I do some stuff for them. And I was very lucky mm -hmm. um, to be able to... I, I still consider myself lucky to work for them. They're, they're amazing. They're non-denominational. They don't... doesn't matter what the kid is sick with. They go to the hospitals and they provide distractions for kids when they're getting needles or whatever yeah, they're going through. Yeah. You won a whole bunch of money for them recently as well. I saw something on uh, online. Did you... Was that for TLC for Kids through Singing Bee? Was it? Well, that wasn't recently. It was <laughs> a little did, while yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, no. dr we're dredging up the past yeah, here, yeah, yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Live on Bowen from 1997. Yeah. Um, no, it's um, it's uh, it was a, so a show called The Singing Bee that Channel 9 did, yep. and you had to nominate a charity. I nominated yes. TLC for Kids, and I was lucky enough to win the whole show, and it was fifty thousand dollars for charity. Yep. And um, then we uh, yeah we got the, the guy uh, Tim on the show on Kids mm. B, and we, we gave him a check for fifty thousand right. dollars, which is not something you get to do every day. Now you, Very... you're an absolute party animal, mate. It's no secret. You, as a matter of fact, uh, rushed the stage at Channel 9 Christmas party. We've got some footage of that here. Can we show that? Have we got the footage? That's Rob Mills, by the way. That's Millsy. Is it Millsy? And he said, Shira, come up on stage. I know you love this song. And um... You're not shy, mate, at all, are you? Yeah, well, yeah. you can see that. <laughs> because, I mean, that's not just any party. That's Channel 9. That's You've got like... all of the Channel 9 people there. Yeah. You're up on the stage. Yeah. And that was quite some time all ago when you were reasonably fresh. Reasonably fresh. Do you reasonably... still know all the words to that? Bust a move. Any chance? That's my song. That is your that's song. My song. I've sung... <laughs> that's my song. I've sung it. I've sung it at formals, at weddings, at... Well, at... I want to sing it one audience... day at a funeral. One day to funeral. Yeah. Well, the audience happens to know all the words as well because if you have a look around at your seats there, audience, you've got the words there. Do you want to hear Mr. Shuri Taff take us out to the oh, back? No, Would no, you no, take no, us we can't out? do it. We can't do it. No? You won't do it. Right. Who wants to hear Shuri Taff take us out of Really? Sure. It just so happens that we've got the music oh, not and the mic. Free up the I'm music. Free up the music. Give me my hat. You've got the hat and everything. Let's do this. This is a jam for all the fellas Try to do what those ladies tell us Get shut down cause you're overzealous Play hard to get females, Ladies get jealous Okay, Sparty, 